Hey guys, Dan McCoy with RL McCoy. We're over here with Bob Easton and Outpack, and I'm sure you guys have seen it on every one of our concrete pumps. You need to have a washout. You have to be conscious about the environments. The Clean Water Act is here to stay. We gotta keep these things right, or you're looking at heavy fines. I mean, you know, for our IDEM drops, they can find you up to $25,000 a day if you don't keep things clean. So it's important. That's why they're on our pumps. That's why we insist that you use them. <laughs> and, and Bob's going to tell us all about them. He's got some new products that he's going to show us. Really cool stuff. So Bob? Yeah, nice to Thanks, man. Me. Yeah, I appreciate your business. Um, yes, I was a concrete contractor in Boise, Idaho for 30 years. And about 10 years ago, they started enforcing the Federal Clean Water Act and requiring us to have an on-site washout before we get a footing inspection. And so that's how I came about to inventing the washout because you can't build anything. My guys get paid for setting forms and pouring concrete, not for building a washout. And so this is the most inexpensive um, solution for the problem uh, I've seen. Our original was a 350-pound uh, wet strength corrugated washout with a six mil bag liner in it. And then uh, listening to uh, product or uh, customer feedback, uh, how do I get rid of it? How do I keep it from filling with water? We came out with our new um, all-weather product, which has lifting straps with a 5 to 1 safe lifting load rating on it and uh, a detachable reusable rain flight. And we also have a, a two and a three cubic guard PVC for larger applications. And so we have five different um, sizes and three different materials. Yeah, and, and this is this is the way the industry's going. This this is a requirement. It's um, I believe we were talking California went first, and then Indiana came along with it. Um, but there's a lot of other states that are that are climbing on board. And I know um, even on the bridge side of things, they make us go to the nth degree, and that's fine um, about environmental and making sure that all your erosion control procedures, everything's going into effect. And let me tell you, backing up your ready mix truck or, or, or backing up your pump truck um, and cleaning out on the shoulder anymore or in a berm, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> this is what you need, all of our trucks have it, and uh, I suggest every contractor um, will have it on board. Feel free to purchase your own, but uh, uh, every one of our concrete pumps is gonna have one of these. The Federal Clean Water Act, it actually came about in the eight, late 1800s when they realized we were using our waterways as septic systems, and then back in the 70s when Nixon uh, came out with the EPA, um, but the, I, I'm not an environmentalist, but I'm a sportsman, and I didn't realize, but um, the high pH water is what the, the law wants to keep out of our groundwater. The earth is 70% water, only 2% of that's fresh water, only 1% of that is accessible to drink. So they call it the silent polluter, but it's actually a pretty good idea. And you think about every third world country, their biggest dilemma is clean is water. water. Hey, Dan, Bob. I appreciate your business, and I love working with Gary and his team. Oh, uh, hey, you guys are great. they're the best. I'm just yeah. here to help. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Your, your, your product has saved a lot of headache, for Thank sure. You. Thank you.